Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Victoria gets to the hospital to see Claire, she stands outside and observes Claire reading to a youngster while encouraging her to ask for help. Because, as she puts it, sometimes you get to be the fearless one who helps others. Victoria is introduced to Nadia, who will turn seven next week, by Claire after she spots her. Claire introduces herself to Nadia as her mother and informs Victoria that she met the girl during her stay at the children's ward. Nadia is taken back to her room by a nurse. Victoria mentions that Claire gets along well with kids. Even though Claire doesn't know how it happened, she feels stronger after viewing the children. They might be able to get assistance from her. I'm so proud of you, says Victoria. Claire clarifies that the children help her to escape her thoughts. The greatest therapy is to make people smile, and that is what she wants to do. She acknowledges that the constant rehashing of all the horrible things happens in therapy wears her out. She knows why she must carry out this task. Victoria tells her that everyone in the family is rooting for her. Claire laments that before meeting her and Cole, she had no idea what support looked like. Is there any update regarding Jordan, she queries. Victoria encourages her to stop thinking about her aunt and trust the police to carry out their duties. Where's dad? Adam queries as he enters the noon office to join Nick. That's all Nick was wondering. They ponder the reason behind their summons. Victor abruptly texts them both to let them know he's been arrested and will get there as soon as he can. Victor tells someone on the phone at the ranch that he appreciates their attention to detail and asks them to keep him updated. When Nikki enters the room, she accuses him of terminating the call. He corrects her, saying, I was talking about Jordan, when she assumes he was referring to her. He informs her that the prison has been contacted by his security team. Six prisoners are missing, and the fire was started intentionally, says Nikki. She's one of them. Victor promises his spouse that Jordan will be brought back. It seems to Nikki that they should bait her into a trap. Nikki cannot be used as bait by Victor. Nikki is opposed to being confined to the home. Victor claims she will be able to. Not only will it prevent her from drinking because of Jordan. Sweetheart, it's for your own good. He gives her a hug and assures her that this nightmare will end. Chloe asks Sally why she wanted to meet at Crimson Lights. Does she have any positive updates regarding her new business? Sally acknowledges that they could lose everything if they don't bring in any new business. They discuss expanding into new markets, but nothing comes of it. They're upset because despite their excellent work, they haven't been hired. Chloe believes it's time to request another round of funding from their backer. Absolutely not, snorts Sally. Adam is in Victor's office to run something by Nick. Arriving before he can tell him is Victor. Is everything okay, Nick asks. After washing his face, Victor informs them that Jordan made it out alive. Nick and Adam speculate about how deadly she would be if she started the fire and killed everyone. Victor gives the explanation for Nikki's ranch stay. Nick claims that they are both aware of her dislike of feeling confined. Jordan is no longer a threat, in Nick's opinion, so they need a good plan. Is there a way to set a trap for her? Adam asks. Nikki cannot use herself as bait for Victor. Nick cautions that his mother will lose it if they are stranded at home. Jordan despises Victor more than everyone else, Adam uses. Victor is going to take advantage of that. Adam says to include him if there's anything he can do. Nick is told he can rely on his father as well, but Nick believes he is only using himself as bait. Victor proclaims that he must face this battle alone. Adam and Nick argue about Victor's strategy to acquire Jordan after Victor leaves. Adam claims they can assist in keeping him safe if they agree. Nick hopes he avoids taking too many unwarranted chances. All they can do, according to Adam, is wait for Victor to complete his scheme and hope he tells them about it. 
Before their father entered, Nick remembers that Adam was going to tell him something. What was it? Nick asks. I need to talk to you about something before I run it by dad, says Adam. It concerns Sally. There's no need, Nick argues, if he intends to tell him that he's getting married to her. I'm not concerned about it. Nikki praises Lauren at the ranch for taking over and supporting her in running Newman Media. Lauren enjoys taking on new challenges and is glad to have her support system in place. Nikki is asked to update Lauren about the project Audra was working on. Nikki is a little vague about the specifics. Seeing that she's having a difficult morning, Lauren asks if she wants to give Jack a call. I am aware of your difficulties. How may I assist? Nikki confides in Lauren that she doesn't want to crumble in front of her. She acknowledges that the news that Jordan is at large is what's stressing her out, not the need to drink. Nikki claims Lauren has already called, but Lauren thinks she will vanish forever. Lauren cautions Nikki about giving her authority. Sheila and she went through this a lot. They take strength from your fear. They aim to be a continual danger in order to manipulate your behavior and feelings. That's how they demolish you. It seems Nikki is correct. Jordan won't get the gratification from her. She checks her phone for her most recent call and makes the call. Hello, Jordan, Nikki says as soon as it connects. You're there, I know that. I just wanted to give you a heads up that my family is unbeatable. You can thus continue to play your little games and listen to that music, which incidentally makes me not the least bit ashamed. It seems to me like a fight tune, an anthem, if you will. Something to commemorate your ultimate failure that we can play. Yes, as it will soon arrive, there are no allies for you. Claire is now aware of her aunt's illness and mental instability. It doesn't surprise her that Jordan is silent with her. She is not only mad, but also a cowardly little girl. She's hoping she can get past the ranch's security and attempt to cross the boundary. Lauren tells her pal that she was impressed after Nikki disconnects and that she doesn't envy anyone who would want to cross her or her family. Victoria is thrilled that Claire read the book she gave her about mythology while she is in Claire's room. They make light of the similarities to the Newman family. Claire tells Victoria how much she enjoys and anticipates her visits. Victoria feels the same way. She believes they are going through a comparable experience. Victor shows up at that very moment. Am I disturbing you? Claire extends an invitation to him. It surprises Victoria to find him there. Victor requests a moment of privacy so that he can interview Claire about Jordan. Victoria objects to the notion. I'm fine, says Claire. She assumes Jordan is out of control. In order to apprehend her aunt once more, Victor is hoping she might provide them with some hints regarding her actions. Claire is clueless about Jordan's whereabouts and actions. Victor claims that arson caused the jail fire. Claire says she said it, assuming that she would be taken out. Victor claims that the DNA evidence disproved his claims. Although Claire's kid reassures her that she is okay with the talk, and isn't terrified of Jordan. Victoria doesn't want Claire to think about Jordan. She says she told the nurse she was Victoria when she got a call from Jordan the other day. She expressed her want for her death and that she couldn't control her. I shut it out of my mind when I talked to my therapist about it after I hung up on her. Victoria tells her that they comprehend. Victor is informed by Claire that she will let him know if anything further comes to mind. She worries about Nikki and wants to help. Claire is informed by Victor that she can now address him as Victor since they are now family. Claire wishes she might be of assistance. Victor tells her that she has options. He senses that Jordan will give her another call. If she does, he wants Claire to let her know that he wants to make up with her for all the hurt he inflicted on Eve, her sister. Victoria gives a head shake. Adam informs Nick in the Newman office that Sally is too proud to tell him that the company he funded is struggling. What sense? Nick queries. Adam claims that while there was a rush of projects at first, things are now moving slowly. She will require a substantial amount of money to maintain things. 
he believes that Sally won't ask Nick, thus his concept goes beyond that. Victor had offered to set Sally up a design division at Newman, but he later yanked the rug out from under her. They concur that it was bad. Adam would like to ask him to reconsider and go through on the plan this time so that Sally and Chloe can come under the Newman family's protection. Sally assures Chloe at Crimson Lights that she will not approach Nick for additional funding. After mentioning that she would go back to Adam, Chloe declares she won't go there. Sally tells her that he's really not having too much trouble. Sally is informed by Chloe that they haven't given taking on a new partner any thought. Sally fears they might become uncontrollable. Chloe believes it's preferable to losing the entire business. It's not really Sally's vision, she claims. Instead, she wants to give it her all. I won't give up and I'm not going to go back to Nick. Nick at Newman doubts Victor's willingness to revive the concept of the design division. Adam informs him that's his role. To sell it, he'll need his assistance. Victor exits Claire's chamber, and Victoria follows him out. She tells him that he cannot use Claire to defeat Jordan. Victor informs Victoria that because Jordan is abusing her, her mother is going on a drinking spree and willfully drinking herself to death. Claire is their sole point of contact with her. Victoria snaps, my daughter is also a victim. Instead of Claire, Victor is worried about Nikki. Are you understanding this? End of discussion, he exclaims, then leaves. Claire thinks that Victoria is furious with her when she returns. All Victoria wants is for her father to not have placed her in the center. What a horrible idea this is. Claire believes that it makes logical sense. Victor is preparing to be bait. She's willing to speak with Jordan again if there's anything she can do to help get her locked up. It could finally put a stop to this terrible program. Jordan's number rings on Nikki's phone at the ranch. Lauren believes Nikki has no business going through whatever Jordan has in store for her, and there's no need for her to answer the phone. Ashley receives a distressing flashback to her past. Victor implements his most recent scheme, and Jordan devises a fresh strategy to go after Nikki. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.